zero hour and the call to general quarters. Maneuvers are no longer just figures on an admiral's chart. They are now the personal concern of every man aboard. On the double from every part of the ship, they scramble to their battle stations. To their turrets go the men who win battles, while special details trim the ship and get it in firing order. seconds all the way, the men of the deck crew hit their posts. Into the complicated meshwork of the fighting top go the men who, from a hidden fire control, the navigation of a battleship under combat conditions is a naval art away and waiting for the order that will send it into action. This is what every man in the fleet has been waiting for. Far below decks in the magazine, bags of powder are loaded onto the hoists. From the depths of the ship arrive hundreds of pounds of projectiles, which will soon be hurtling through the air. With precision born of rigid training, the turret crew loads its guns. The range is found, checked with the speed of the wind and the ship, and the signal is, commence firing. Maneuvers, the safety of a nation put to the test. Today's exercises may have marked a page in that nation's history. What went on in these waters is more than merely lecture matter for Annapolis classrooms. It is the exercise that keeps supple the muscles of a mighty arm. United States Navy, an iron wall around our Bill of Rights, from San Juan to San Diego, from Maine to Mindanao, from Ketchikan to Key West, wherever stars fly with stripes over water, there is an outpost of America's first line of defense.